one year since Israel began the 51-day war on Gaza, it called Operation Protective Edge. By the end, more than 2,200 Palestinians were killed, the vast majority civilians. On the Israeli side, 73 people were killed, 67 of them soldiers. This densely populated tiny strip of land that's been called an open-air prison saw a level of destruction that was unprecedented. So, one year on, how is Gaza doing? The short answer, not well. Life in Gaza is pretty much hopeless for the 1.8 million people who live there. They're walled in by the Israeli army to the north and east, the Israeli navy to the west, and the Egyptian army to the south. People aren't allowed to leave, and few can go in. This siege has meant that less than 1% of the construction materials needed for rebuilding has been allowed in. 100,000 Palestinians remain homeless after 18,000 homes were either destroyed or severely damaged. At this rate, it would take 100 years for Gaza to be rebuilt, assuming there aren't any more wars. And the billions of dollars in aid pledged by foreign governments have, for the most part, remained, well, pledges. The economy is in shambles. Exports are virtually banned and imports are very limited. According to the World Bank, Gaza has the highest unemployment rate in the world. Some people have resorted to selling the rubble of their destroyed homes to make a bit of money. Poverty is so widespread that nearly 80% of the population needs aid or food assistance just to get by. Then there are the emotionally shattered, Gaza's children. Most of them have never been able to leave and have now endured three wars in six years. In last year's war, some 551 kids were killed in Gaza and more than 3,400 were injured. And even though the war is technically over, their trauma isn't. Three in four kids show signs of severe emotional distress, including regular bedwetting and nightmares. So given all the lives lost and homes, schools and hospitals destroyed, who's been held accountable? No one. In some instances, the Israeli military has investigated itself and then cleared itself of any wrongdoing. This includes the attack that killed four young boys playing soccer on the beach. More recently, a UN report found that both Israel and Palestinian militant groups may have committed war crimes. That report is headed to the International Criminal Court and a case might be brought against the Israeli leadership. But in terms of accountability in the short term, there's not much reason to be optimistic. Meanwhile, Gaza's residents are living amid the rubble and despair, wondering how much more they'll have to endure. <laughs>